Good morning, everyone. I'm Catherine Ross with The Street. I am here on the floor of the NYSE with Jim Kramer. Jim, it's a rough day in the markets. Now, How there are, are you? There are things I look for. Um, for snapback, uh, 10 to 1 down up. We have uh, 12 to 1 down up. I look at the VIX. If it gets to 25, the VIX is at 23, not that far. Um, I look at Amazon as the key to this market in terms of no negative stuff, and if that can bounce from FANG. And then uh, the other key is Intuit, which had a really great quarter and was up, was up 10 last night before it got wrapped by this negativity. Uh, for action alerts, I, would, I want people to look at Kohl's and the progression. Each month was better and November was really strong, so there's a lot of negative narrative about one of the stocks that we own. Um, I also advise people that you can't have a real rally that has staying power until later in the day because it's too early because if we start rallying now, then what's going to happen is people are going to use it to bail because uh, the holidays coming up. But that uh, magic number of 12 down to one up is very significant um, because, and I look, I've not had any positive say. Today's the first day we're buying, you know, net. We're going to be net in cash today in the market. That's how we look at it, net out, net in. And during our, our, um, our club conference call, I'll talk about the two names. But, you know, we've been right. You know, not that we don't have some stocks that are down, but we've been we've been right in terms of being negative. There was someone on Twitter who says, "Well, Kramer just turned uh, negative," and I like I look at it and I say, "Sticks and stones may break my bones," which is why I carry thermonuclear weapons. There's just a lot of stupid people, and uh, they don't know. I mean, I mean, I've been I've been ever since October third, October fourth, October third, when Jay Powell said some things that retrospect were ill advised to Judy Woodruff, and October fourth where we got the Penn's containment document, Doctor, which is actually, by the way, just so you know, if you compare some of the things that are being said to uh, Stalin, uh, I mean, you're talking about godless regimes now. I mean, you're talking about godless regimes in the People's Republic. If these are not things that are, have anything to do with trade. This has to do with religious freedom. Now, it's not like the president's going to go to the G20 and say, listen, you know, let the Muslims go. Let the million Muslims in the encampments go. I mean, you know, the, you, you got to read Pence's speech from October 4th. It's available on the WhiteHouse.gov. It, it's very chilling because it basically says that the PRC is very much like Stalinist Russia. And we obviously weren't doing a lot of business with Stalinist Russia. So you can't walk that back. It's a Hudson Institute speech. You, you know, could the president say, listen, that's Pence's view? I guess so. But that is not a speech which just says, when we get to the G20, we'll be fine. So keep in mind, you know, there's now it's 13 to 1 negative deposit. These are extraordinarily negative readings that traditionally have meant a snapback. But, you know, it's a pretty powerful bear market except for the Pepsi. So you need to see Pepsi and Coke down. Now you'd say, well, Jim, why? Pepsi had a good quarter. Remember, Pepsi started the earnings season. Retrospect, it was a great quarter. Coca-Cola, a really good quarter. But you need to see, uh, we own UNH, and, uh, Abbott, uh, J&J. And, and those can be the sources of funds to buy the really beaten up stocks. Um, watch McDonald's, which has really good, you know, that would be one that you'd like to see down if you want to get a reversal, then it's been a real good actor. So, you know, I'm just trying to spot uh, in a very calm way, non-hysterical, what would take to spring a rally. But time, Amazon, into it. When someone says, Jim, I thought you said Apple's the key to the rally. Well, Look, Apple, longer term, absolutely, but Apple got the number slash today. What I've been saying is there's a difference between a rally, a snapback rally, and a bear market. You know, you could, I think that the stocks were overdone, but I, you know, do I want to go buy Apple here? I, everybody has to cut Apple if this guy at Goldman's right. Now, the interesting thing about Apple, by the way, and it's an actual alert name, it has been forever, is he's calling about Apple to be 13 times earnings. And, you know, I think that's good. I, mean, I don't want to sell stock 13 times earnings. So anyway, it's a very mixed picture, but what matters the most is the down to up because that's unsustainable. You shouldn't have this much down. You just covered a lot in well, that. I'm trying to get a lot for these videos. I mean, I think the videos are very popular. I, I know a lot of people watch them, and uh, I think that my feeling on the videos is something that we did right in 2018. Just try to tell the truth and try to get people to focus on what can work right now. You tweeted earlier this morning about uh, about Target and their earnings, and I'm wondering if you can go in a little bit more depth about what you think about it. Yeah, look, Target, if the, if the consumer is as strong as Brian Cornell said, then you need all that inventory. If the consumer is running out of gas, then the inventory is going to cause a problem. I had been waiting for Target to be able to have 
Nice 40% growth in e-commerce. They have 49%. Uh, Target's got a good safe yield. Uh, if the Fed says uh, one and wait, then you're going to say, why didn't I buy Target? Uh, or at least start Target. Now, we're doing Kohl's. We had sold some Kohl's much higher. Uh, they're pretty much the same here. Uh, although Kohl's beat the same store and Kohl's had a really good last month. Uh, but you know, I think Target's overdone. But you know, there could be some people, analysts are herd animals. And you know, I think that some of them will say, I got to get out of Target. And that may be a better chance for bottom when you see these really big declines. What tends to happen is that uh, that's institutional pressure that's probably not going to be able to get done. But uh, again, I caution that the down up is insane. Uh, so I would probably be, rather be a buyer of Target right here than a seller. And I just want to note for viewers that Kohl's is real money's stock of the day. Yes. So I want to cover that a lot more, yeah. but I'm going to wait until our actual Alerts Home Plus Depot's call. Home down so much. Uh, it, it, you know, Home Depot wasn't that bad. But again, single family housing numbers are the worst they've been in a long time. Home Depot, if the Fed said well, one and wait, Home Depot you wish you'll buy. So there's a lot of binary action that's hard to get your hands on. All right. I want to end this video with an Ask Jim, and Jerry is wondering what your thoughts are on Microsoft. I like Microsoft. It's uh, well ahead of all the others in tech, so you got to let it come down probably to 99 if you want to buy some. All right, Jim, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Catherine Ross with The Street. We'll see you guys later.